Hi, I'm Dr. Loretta Long all the time. I'm Susan of Sesame Street some of the time. And because you have Dr. Candace as your best friend, she's mine too. So I'm here to talk about success as I have found it. Now, you know, being on Sesame Street all that time, I really concentrate on the ABCs. So I'm using that as a way to anchor some steps for success. A, everybody say A, be available for your dream. Say that, be available for your dream. Now what that meant to me was when I heard about an audition for a children's show, I went to the audition. I made myself available. I had a lot of misgivings because I didn't want to do children's shows. Even though I was trained as a teacher, I wanted to be in show business. And children's television at that time was really bad. Come on, be a good doobie. Look in the magic mirror. And I said, I can't make my voice do that. I don't want to be in children's television. But my heart, my spirit said, be available for your dream. Just go practice on the audition. And sure enough, that was the audition for Sesame Street. What if I stayed home? Be available. B, believe in your dream. Now, the only way you can believe in your dream is if it is really your dream. Don't let people stick something on you like a decal or even tattoo it on you. Your dream has to come from within you. And you know how I find people can uh, look for their dream? Here's a clue. What can you do that nobody taught you how to do it? I'm from Michigan, and I say that babies come here like luxury cars, fully loaded, off the line. You came here with specific gifts that have to do with your purpose or your dream. So B, identify what your dream is so you can believe in it. And that belief will give you something that I call bounce back ability. I saw a man, uh, he was very well dressed and he looked European. I don't know cl men's clothes, but I'm told by my friends that Armani jackets don't have a split in them like Americans do. So he had this wonderful jacket and cavalier twill pants and those hoochie poochie fiorucci kind of loafers he, and a silk shirt. And he was striding down Fifth Avenue. And New York streets are notorious for tearing up your shoes. He stubbed his toe. And if I had not been looking right at him, I would have missed what happened next. He stubbed his toe, he went down and he stood up again so fast, he must have caught himself on his hands. And, and if there was a sound attached, it would have been boop boop. And the only accommodation he made to having fallen down was his jacket rose, rose up and he just went mm, like that and kept on walking. Now that's bounce back ability. Cause life will knock you down, but it's up to you how long you stay down. And that man was not going to stay down. So that's what your belief in your dream will do. C, be committed to your dream. Now, you don't just wake up one day and say, oh, I think I'll become an Olympic gold medalist. Uh-uh. <laughs> you better be committed. The Williams sisters hit many a tennis ball before they held those big trophies. So that kind of commitment is important. Would you like to have an orthopedic surgeon working on your knee who last year wanted to be an auto mechanic and the year before that he wanted to run a train? Uh, no, you need people that are committed. Now, here's the main one. D, dream your dream in detail. And that's when I tell everybody, get a dream or vision wall. Start cutting out pictures of where you want to be and how you want to be and, and put it on a wall that you can look at all the time. 
You think in pictures. When I say dog, you don't see three letters, D-O-G. You see a dog that's in your reference library. If I say big black dog, that's what you see. If I say little curly haired dog, that's what you see. So dream your dream in detail and make yourself a vision wall. Now, one of the things I'm doing now, I'm now an author. This is one of three books. This one is From Paw Paw to Sesame Street, My Journey. And it's a children's picture book. The next one coming down the pike is My Best Friends Call Me Susan, because half of you all try to Google me and Google Susan Long, and she hasn't got a social security number. You are not going to find her. And then the third one, it's time to occupy your dream. Let me show you how. And it's going to have a workbook, a journal, and a book. And there are going to be seminars and workshops about just discovering your dream and how to walk it out. So that's my success story. And in my book, I put a little poem, and I want you to be sure and say this to yourself a lot. Keep on trying till you find out where you fit. Just keep on trying. Just don't quit. Thank you. Love you.